Hello, it's Tail, and I am uh, playing Rise of Flight again. It is day three of my Sopwith Camel campaign, or career, rather. Um, it's Wednesday. Um, average clouds, temperature's 25 degrees. A little bit cooler than yesterday, but uh, still fairly warm. Um, yeah, so let's see what we have today. So first of all, we have a protection patrol, which I am not involved in uh, at all. Then I have an offensive patrol at 8.55 in the morning, uh, which should be interesting. And then there's a lone patrol, and then another pat offensive patrol, which I'm not involved in. So this is a morning patrol, which is my first one. I'm going to have to get up early. 8.55 is particularly early for me in real life, so at least I'm not on the 5.37. That would be horrible. Um, yes. So... Let's click on next mission and get the first mission out of the way. I wonder if anybody uh, will die or get any kills or what have you. No, everyone seemed to uh, come back okay, that's good. And now it's my turn. So, offensive patrol, 855, three camels, couple of triplanes. Let's get to take time to learn or get to know some of um, my squad mates. I've got Anthony Wells is leading this. Edward Turner. Alfie Ball. Good old Alfie Ball. And Richard Fisher. None of whom know that I am a murderer. Um, so begin mission. This will load the mission. Um, I have already uploaded the first video and had time to read the comments from people. Apparently I've, I've chosen a particularly difficult plane to fly in the Camel, which is great. It means this will probably be quite a short series. Um, the reason I chose the Camel was because, um, similarly with the IL-2 Sturmovic series, I'm British, so in the IL-2 one I chose a Spitfire as the iconic British fighter of that war. And for World War One, I, I decided to start off with the Camel as the kind of Spitfire equivalent in World War One. So that's why... And also when I've flown it online, in, uh, usually on the Flying Circus server, which is um, has doesn't have expert difficulty, it's kind of standard difficulty. But I've usually done okay with it there, but maybe that's because some of the physics are simplified and the, the spins aren't so harsh, I don't know. We shall see. Um, yeah, so I'm just sitting here waiting. It's too late to skip this now because it's only going to be a few more seconds, so I might as well keep watching this slideshow of planes. I wonder if I'll get a kill this time. I thought I had one. I don't know, I'm not quite sure how the um, the scoring system works. It se seems that my colleague managed to get the kill, despite the fact that the plane was still flying along for several minutes after he had disappeared. I'm wondering whether those two guys who died actually crashed into each other or crashed into the ground maybe because there were no other enemy planes around so a bit of a mystery that but um, yeah so maybe you need to get the kind of the bullet that or the hit that kind of incapacitates a plane to the point where it can't fight on and then any more damage to it from then on is kind of immaterial in terms of the you know who gets the kill I don't know I don't know um, here is the map. We're heading north this time. This is Vimy Ridge. It sounds familiar, so I wonder if this is where the famous battle took place. I'm not sure. Bully Lam... Oh God, Minas? I don't know how to pronounce that in French. My French is bad. I prefer German. Um, yeah, so if I, I flow close to my man, aim well, and then of course he falls down. Oswald Bulk, 14 volt... 40 uh, victories, the famous Mr. Bulk. I believe he trained, or he was uh, um, the leader of the squadron that von Richthofen joined, if my history is correct, could be wrong. As always, could be wrong. High level cirrus clouds, only 3 meters per second for the wind, so that's okay. Engage and destroy any enemy, blah 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 blah. Take off at 855, good luck and good revs! Thanks, I will try to have excellent revs. Great, so uh, let's go. Press P to continue. Here we are. Just give it uh, time to load everything in. 
Okay, and oh, I pressed E before I forgot to raise the uh, the fuel mixture. I've got my fuel mixture setting on my joystick, specifically on the top kind of hat switch that we'd normally use to look around because I've got Chuck IR. I don't need that. So I use the left and right uh, switches on the hat to change the fuel mixture, which is quite handy. So as usual, set it to full to switch on the engine and then dial it back a little bit, about a fifth of the way down, for actually taking off. And there's a car over there. Oh, how nice. Let's uh, so zoom in on the map a bit here. Just wasting my turn. I'm the last of five, I believe. There we go. And off I go, full throttle. Starts to gently push down, having to use right rudder to counteract the torque. And we're away. These things take off pretty quickly since they're relatively light. I've also got my zoom um, mapped to the hat switch, so if I push forward, I zoom in, pull back on the hat switch and I zoom out. Which is um, very handy as well. So this has a smooth zooming function as opposed to IL-2946 which is very much kind of like that. You zoom in steps. Um, so we're on our way, we're heading north. So I will cut here while I climb up and um, come back if we encounter any undesirables on our way. Well, we're diving for some reason, I'm not sure why. We're heading directly east. Uh, whether my wingmates have spot and spotted something, I don't know. Oh, now, now what are they doing? What are you doing? You crazy fools! AI seems to have some weird behaviour because flying directly east is not on our flight plan and there's no reason to do a sudden dive at that moment is it this balloon we're going after? that would make sense Although if so, why suddenly pull up? Uh, well, okay, fair enough. Whatever. I'll just follow you guys, you know. Now where are they going? Just hope they don't fly into me. Oh, can't see this guy because of this strut. Flying over that way. I don't know where the others have gone. Oh, frames. Um, the frame rate might be quite low on these videos because <coughs> uh, looking at what's been recorded by DX Story, I'm getting about 40 frames in game, but the re recording is only about 20 frames per second, which obviously isn't too great. Maybe you can live with it, I don't know. Might need to lower some of the graphic settings, I suppose. Now, there's a couple of contacts up here. Three contacts. Just 
trying to look at the outlines to see what they might be. I don't know where everybody else has gone. I'm still following this triplane ahead of me. What's that over there? Is that one of our guys? Looks like it. kind of lost my bearings now. I'm not sure where I am. I think I'm on the... I'm heading north-west. We're kind of going north along the, the, uh, the front line for some reason. Presumably one or more of these guys are enemies, which is why we're heading north. Now the, that triplane is diving. This is very confusing. What about those guys up there? One important thing to remember is not to um, over rev the engine because that will result in bad things happening so if you're doing a steep dive remember to uh, lower the throttle so it's not to over rev the engine and uh, otherwise you would get a big uh, blob of oil in your face which is not pleasant well we've had another dive and now we're reunited with some of my comrades and uh, heading north again which would suggest we're back on our course that's that river down there on the map I think so we're just um, crossing that or almost crossing it, there's something going on up ahead here A lot of planes flying around. That's German, okay. Pretty sure that's German. And we've got one, two, three, four, five of them over there. I need to keep an eye on what my teammates are doing. One of them's uh, flying away over there, great. And then these two are just flying onwards and upwards. That is another albatross, I'm fairly sure, and it's got a height advantage. Check behind me. Always important. Let's see, we're just passing 6,000 feet. Oh, look, they're shooting each other. I think that's two British planes, one German albatross. I hear an engine somewhere, and it sounds close. I don't want to crash into it. Oh, okay, that might be the reason. Just hope these AI are, AI are able to um, avoid crashing into me. That's the German up there, yes it is. It's a bit too high above us to uh, engage though. I'm just trying to look around me make sure I don't lose my friends. I think I may have done. Hello? Where did everybody go? Who's that? You on the enemy, I think. Action packed! Rise of flight! Non stop! Dogfight action! 
Oh god, where is everybody? There were like 20 planes here a minute ago. I saw some people turning around and flying off in kind of this direction, I think. I don't know where they went. What's that? Is this them? Could be. It's the only lead I've got, so I will fly over in this direction. Could be that this is uh, just a waypoint we're following back down south. See, this is a thing uh, with dynamic campaigns. You don't know what you're going to get, if anything. Um, so far, I've come across one balloon, one lone fighter in the last video, and another lone fighter in this video, which I was unable to attack. These are two-seaters, aren't they? They are two-seaters. So these have got nothing to do with me. I don't know who they are and where they're going. Um, um <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, well, I will skip here while I try and catch my bearings and attempt to find my squadron. And uh, if anything important important occurs, I will, of course, come back. So I'll see you uh, shortly. Oh look, there's firing over there. So I'm going to head in this direction, because somebody needs my help. Quite a few planes, and it looks like that's a two-seater that's firing there because the fire is coming from the rear. So possibly that's one of the two-seaters I saw earlier being attacked. In which case I need to head over there, sharpish. Because. Uh, as you would have seen if you watched the video I did with Mr. Effing Controller, two seaters don't uh, fare very well against fighters normally. But that does look like one of our two seaters and then another albatross attacking it, so um, I'm going to have to attack this on my own. What is that? Something else coming towards me. See, the thing is, this albatross could have friends. Just try and keep my eye out. Assuming this is an albatross, it could be something completely different. I think he might know I'm here. Yep, he knows. Come here, you little bastard. Someone else is firing at him. From below, it looks like. Okay, I'm behind him, this is good. Damn it, just missed. I don't know if that's um, ground fire that's shooting at him, it could be.
plane feels quite sluggish for some reason, I'm not sure why. Come on, come on, come on, come on! That was some good hits there. I think I need to lead him a little bit when he's turning like this. Um, just reset the truck IR here. I think he's kind of smoking now. Nothing on my tail, it looks like. I don't know why, but my gun sight seems kind of not aligned correctly with my head. Oh, I've been firing with one gun for a while. Stupid me. You need to uh, keep an eye on the guns because they do jam quite a lot. And in that case, you need to cock them. But this guy's looking pretty beaten up right now. Oh, and there he goes. There goes the wing. Oh, and there goes the other wing. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. That was kind of close. That uh, wing part almost took me out completely. I'm going to try and keep an eye on it to watch it crash here. Although I should really be looking around me and making sure I'm not being attacked right now. There he goes. Boom. Boom, boom. Shake the room. And that's uh, part of his wing. Gently floating to the ground. Well, if that wasn't a kill, I don't know what is, quite frankly. I killed that man. That is for sure. Well, I'm going to head home again because it's pretty dangerous flying around by yourself. There's another wing part that's coming to Earth. Is that another one? Is that a balloon? No, that's another wing part. That's the funny thing because you expect, you know, shoot a wing off a plane then all the bits will kind of just fall off and plummet to the ground but of course they're very light. So they just kind of float to the ground, stay in the air for ages. And I think these are the two seaters I managed to protect. Don't mention it, boys! Buy me a whiskey back at the hangar. Okay, so I'm heading west. I need to work out where I am so I can uh, find my way back to my base. I'm well north of this river here. Let me just. Uh, Put the level flight ometer on for a bit, make sure I'm not being followed. Whoops. It's come off by itself for some reason. There, that H in the top left hand corner signifies when um, your plane is got the level autopilot. So this is that um, that thing here. You can tell it's quite distinctive, a triangle shaped in the river, so therefore I need to head a lot more south than I am currently. I need to go all the way down to here, so let's head south southwest, and that should see me home. I'm going to try and get in a little bit of altitude as well, just in case. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully that should be my first ever, well, my first ever kill in this career, at least. I'm undamaged. Managed to get the jump on that albatross. And he couldn't get away. Didn't seem to be trying too hard, to be honest, but um, to be fair, but there you go. Take what you can get. Alright, so I'll skip here and uh, come back when it's landing time, hopefully, or if there's some more action-packed action to occur. 
See you then. Whoa! I've just been looking around at all the uh, action that's going on, and look at my friends here. They are busy strafing a load of cars. Way behind the lines here. So that's where they got to. I mean, that's fine. They're entitled to do that. What's over here? Is that a train? That is a train. You going for that train, my friend? Go on, go for the train. No? Okay, fine. You can hear the flat going off. So this is two of my comrades, at any rate. The triplane and a uh, camel. Um, and they're attacking this convoy of cars. Don't think they've taken any out. Can't see any r burning wrecks. And it looks like they've given up and are heading home. What else is happening? The balloon is the two seaters I helped protect, I think. Balloon. The cap mill. So, yeah, just wanted to show you that. What I discovered. Um, I think we'll have to work on maintaining contact with my squadron. Because it's the second time I've managed to lose them. And once you lose them, it's very difficult to uh, find them again. And you're on your own, which can be dangerous. So, um, yep, yeah, I'll be uh, back in one second. Okay, as you can see, it's landing time. Time to land. Um, I've been told in the comments that this plane is particularly tricky to land, especially for new pilots. Because of its uh, tendency to pull up and to the left when landing, I believe. So, I'm going to try and watch out for that. I've managed one out of two good landings so far. And when I mean good, I mean not damaging your plane. So, let's see if I can pull it off and make it two out of three. Going just over 70 miles an hour. Throttle is basically off. I'm just gliding in. I'm trying to aim just to the left of these hangars here. And you know what? Let's fire a celeb celebratory. Flare, making sure not to crash while we do it. There we go. Okay. Put that away. Concentrate on the task at hand. He says, looking at the flare behind him. Alright, here we go. Just under 70 miles an hour. Throttle is down. I'm going to try and pull up a bit so I slow down even more because I don't want to be bouncing around on the ground. Bounce around on the ground. And gently, gently. One bounce, two bounce, three bounce, four, and we're down. We are down! Excellent. No brakes on this thing, so... Just switch off the engine and grind to a halt. Nice. Cool, okay. What else is going on? Balloon. Balloon. Guy with a, a blue... Whoops. Blue ribbon. And these are my friends. Returning after their jolly jaunt with the cars. Balloon. Okay, and uh, are there any enemies around? No, there's not. Not anymore, anyway. Right, finish the flight. Now then, did I get that kill? Did I get the kill? Did I get the... Yes, I did! Yes, I did! Fishington chip! Got a kill. Excellent. One plane destroyed. No one else destroyed anything. They just kind of lightly harassed some cars. Proceed. 
Uh, do we have a name for the man that we killed? Werner Schumacher. Interesting. And an albatross D3. Poor Werner. Well, that's my first personal victory as Fishington Chip. Only four more and I shall be an ace. A goddamn ace. Okay, next mission. Uh, now the next... I believe there's next two more missions and they're not flown by me, but I'll just go through them anyway. See what happens. Lone patrol completed. Ooh, he got um he got a kill as well. Good job, Edward Turner. You managed to kill Gunther Schroeder in a DFWCV, which is another two seater reconnaissance slash bombing aircraft. Good job. And next mission. This has been a uh, successful day so far. And two people got kills in this one. Wow. Harry Morrison managed to kill Julian Lang. Or Julian Lang? Hmm. And uh, Gilbert Webster dispatched Marcus Koch. Uh, flying a DFWCB and Albatross D5A, respectively. That's good. Uh, oh, and one balloon as well from Frank Hill. This has been a good day for the squadron. I am pleased. I'm wondering if um, maybe at this point in the war, the Allies have fairly superior. Uh, they have superior air su superiority. Their air superiority is superior to the other person's air superiority. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I've actually clicked on it the next day, so um, you've got the screen. Um, but anyway, that's it for this mission. Thanks a lot for watching. My first victory. Will I get another? Will I survive long enough? Only time will tell. See you then.